Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through the 18th. Now, this is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. With it being a, day, a week of Valentine's Day, I decided to pick two love oracle decks. So we will just go with whatever comes out. There it is. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Appreciate this moment. Because you never know when you're going to get another one. I need a new deck. This deck's just about had it. Appreciate this moment. It's right there. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Don't deny it. If you're feeling a magnetic uh, attraction with somebody, don't deny it. Appreciate it, okay? It's a week of growth, okay? It's a week of growth. It's a week of reflection. It's a week of solitude where you actually take this time out to step back and refocus, all right? after a period of suffering whatever has happened has brought you true growth and now it's time to just reflect on it and come up with a new plan and don't feel like a victim you may be feeling mentally restless like you're a victim you may feel detached from the world this week like you don't want to talk to anybody you know like you've been really hurt over something and perhaps you may feel alone or want to be alone you're not feeling very hopeful for the future, um, inspired. I, I feel like it's a week of, you know, where you're not appreciating things. And the universe is here to say, appreciate your life, Appre appreciate your breath, appreciate what you have. Because I feel like you guys are going through a period of suffering, which is bringing you growth. You know, you just need to take the time to really reflect on it and, and, and think about what this taught you. Why did this happen? You know, really take this time. I see that a time of solitude is needed to find out why and how. You know, why this happened and how it brings you closer to your life's purpose and what's next. Okay? It's like time to make a new plan. Um and not feel bitter and you if you're gonna go through I think this is a week of feeling bitter closed off non-communicative like I'm, I really can't talk to anybody right now I just want to be alone I want to be alone I, I don't see any forward movement you know I, I feel like many of you are going through a period of release and it's not easy this release this 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 feelings that are inside of you that are overwhelming that are causing this growth they're hard feelings they're real struggles and you're releasing them and the fact that you're releasing them is is hard it's hard to release them they have to come out and that's why this time of reflection is here because you you have to acknowledge these feelings to heal you to start the process to accept the growth so I feel like this is the week where you're like really contemplating on on the hurt that you've been through or whatever the struggle that you've been through and while you're contemplating you're like you know what I just need this time alone please please just leave me be let me be alone for now because I'm I'm working this out on my own um, because you're taking all the time you need to think about it you know because you've been through a period of uh, unhappiness maybe even depression and you and you know that you need to work it out so you need to really acknowledge your feelings and I know I'm repeating myself because this is what this is you've been through some period of, of unhappiness where you really need to 
switch it around and bring the hope back to your life you know you need to bring the positive back into your life but you can't do that you can't do that until you acknowledge the truth of your real feelings you know instead of burying them down and pretending that this never happened or pretending that you're not really hurt or pretending that you never want to move forward you need to acknowledge the feelings of hurt and and start the healing process which is is a struggle Okay, so here I, it's becoming aware. It's becoming aware. It's taking action. Shedding the old. This is about shedding the old. Shedding the, the hurt. Shedding the fears. Shedding the trauma. You know, and that's going to take some time. And it's going to be overwhelming. And I, I, I feel like you guys are going to be like, you know what? Not right now. Nope. Not today or tomorrow or the next day. I think it's going to be over a few day period. All right. It's where you're really becoming aware of what you need to do and taking action to get where you need to be. It feels like you've criticized yourself too much. You've really, really been overly critical with yourself instead of acknowledging your feelings. You need to stop being so overly critical. You need to stop mentally abusing yourself okay it's time to have hope it's time to have um positive expectations for the future okay I, I really feel like it's it's time for you to step back focus and wait and wait i don't see that this is you know this is intended to be a love reading but i can't make love come out if you guys are going through some serious struggles that need to be worked on Okay, inner struggles need to be worked on before love can come in. And I feel like you guys are going through a recovery right now. You're going through a recovery. Perhaps maybe you were mentally or verbally abused in the past. I don't know. Or you were overly criticized by somebody else. I see a lot of criticism here, which has really... Now it needs to be worked out, whether it's you or another person. It's like it needs to be healed. There was some kind of illusion that is no longer an illusion. And now, and now it's time to end the cycle. It's time to shed the past, okay? It's time for you to, whatever this illusion was, it's time to just work it out of your life. And it takes time to work it out of your life. Okay? So it's like you can't you can't keep the secret. You can't block it forever. There's this pain inside of you that you've been blocking, and that's what I see. And it's like it's time to release it. And in order to release it, it takes solitude. And I think it's a time of solitude where you don't really want to communicate. You don't really want to be around people. You need time to heal so that you can manifest a new beginning. Because, you know, whatever you've been carrying around inside that you've been blocking, that shit is heavy. It's probably making you ill. It's make, giving not. It's taking all your energy. It's just heavy, dead weight that you need to release. I feel like you guys need to release something so heavy within you, within your soul, that it's probably going to take the whole week to do it. Okay? It's time to start... Uh, loving yourself again remember when you were a child but it's time to go back to your innocence it's you know it's time to forget all that shit all right it's time to let it go it's time to bring your innocence back and you know you say that you can't if you say that you can't do that then you can't you can you can i feel like many of you um have these memories memories that you're clinging to that those are what need to be released okay some of the negative memories that you have need to be re released and you need to focus on focus on positive memories and a positive future all right because there's like a heaviness inside of you that you have been just adding to it adding to it adding to it and now it's time to acknowledge it because it's about to come up out of the surface or it's at the surface and you may have been masking it with anything food wine alcohol drugs masking your pain faking faking and you can't fake anymore okay I feel that many of you um, 
it's time for you to to stand up for yourself okay it's I feel like you may feel like you've been attacked by the world okay verbally attacked whatever I'm attacked attacked I've been attacked that's how you're feeling I've been attacked you you need to work this out you're attacking yourself you're attacking your system you're attacking your soul by not releasing it you have to release this this hurt that you're going through and I think this is the week where you do it if not you know it's a healing it's a week of healing I mean it's a, it's a week of renewal and it takes a lot of time to do that I so I think this is a week of, of being alone just wanting to be alone not really focused on love okay I feel like it's a it, it, that's what it is this chemistry card is here for somebody I don't know who there's a strong magnetic attraction here maybe there's a magnetic attraction with you and who knows but you figure that one out doesn't seem to resonate with what I came up with must resonate with somebody for some reason um, I don't know appreciate this moment each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love and that's the card that I think I feel resonates with this reading okay you've been through some major struggles and you're being called to release them release them through time and energy and focus acknowledge the feelings that's what you have to do you can, if you just bury the hurt and you never acknowledge it it's gonna just keep growing and growing and growing that big old pile of shit inside of you so you have to really really let it out perhaps you're ignoring an attraction maybe there's somebody in your life that's that there's a strong chemistry but you can't do anything about it I mean that's what it sees I see it it's like you can't do anything about it because right now you're you're overwhelmed with these struggles that are on the inside of you that have festered to the point where they're you know deadly so it's really time to acknowledge all the hurt feel the pain okay you let get a feel the pain maybe you need to cry maybe you need to scream I don't know Maybe you simply need time alone to reflect on your future so that you can actually be available for somebody. Aries, that's what I have. I can't change it. I can't make it into something that I don't see. I wish you the very best.